Well, I want to just share one of the chapters in here just real quick, just to remind us that there's a purpose for why, why we're here. If there wasn't, we could have gone to heaven the day we believed in Jesus. But there's a reason why we're still here, and it's to help others. Jesus said that after the Holy Ghost comes upon you, after the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you'll receive power. And you'll be witnesses unto me. And so there's an aspect of being a Christian. when the Holy, If you'll allow the Holy Spirit to come upon you with power, you'll be able to be a witness. And what that does to us, what the baptism of the Holy Spirit, or we call it being filled with the Spirit, uh, or Jesus called it baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. There's many ways to say it. Uh, what happens is it turns you from ordinary to extraordinary. And so ordinary Christians have a hard time in life. And that's why we want every believer in Jesus to also open up to, be re to, to the Holy Spirit, to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Something, something happens. It, it flips a switch in you. It's subtle. It's a subtle switch. The fire of God is subtle. It doesn't burn your skin. You know, it doesn't blow up in your face. The fire of God is very subtle. It's very sweet. But it does something to you. When I heard about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I began to seek after the truth and learn the Scriptures and try to get filled with the Spirit and wanted to pray in tongues. Took you ten years. Took me three months. Some of you didn't take any time. We're kind of jealous about that, but that's okay. <laughs> when you find a promise of God, you go after it. And so I went to the only place, the only church I knew of that was Spirit-filled. I went for a reason. I went to go get filled with the Spirit. I got filled with the Spirit. I came out of there. So I spoke, in tongues, spoke a few words in another language, in tongues. I knew I had it. But I walked out thinking to myself, now I've got power. Where the, where, where are the sick people now? Where's the devils? I'll cast them out. I mean, I was looking. I thought, man, now, now the whole thing's going to be opened up. Man, I can do it all now. It's the truth. You become extraordinary. If you're ordinary, you're just kind of dull. Ordinary Christians are lazy when it comes to spiritual things. Timid when it comes to spiritual things. Uh, ordinary me means you're kind of pride. You're probably dealing with pride. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> ordinary means you're too tough on the outside. Ordinary Christians aren't great witnesses. They're too rough. Yeah, yeah. They're too argumentative. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. They're too careless. But if you'll get filled with the Spirit and stay full of the Spirit, you'll have compassion and, and you'll care about lost people. You know, when you meet people and when you think about your friends and loved ones, uh, there, there's a real hell out there. Right. People without Christ actually go to hell. Yeah. And, and if, you're, if you're ordinary, you won't, you won't remember that very often. You'll be too concerned with what they're wearing or what they look like or where they, where they were born or, you know, what family they're from or what race they are or, you know, what job they are, what, what job they have. But if you're filled with the Spirit, your first thought will be, oh, are they my brother? Are they saved? Are they, oh, I don't want them to go to hell for sure, so let me find a way to get in here and talk to them about Jesus. Good. If you're ordinary, you won't, you won't think like that. If you're ordinary, you'll shrink back from that thought. Oh, I hope, I hope they watch Christian television, I guess. <laughs> and you just kind of hide from all that. But if you're not ordinary, you get in there and you, and you, you just force yourself almost because you care. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that exciting? Somebody said, before you're filled with the Spirit, don't go. After you're filled with the Spirit, don't stay. <laughs> Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Then he also said, but don't go until you get filled with the Spirit. Right. While I was writing this chapter, so I got a phone call, so I put it in here, which I don't really usually do that, but I got a phone call. And... Uh, Here's what I said in the book. It says, wait, as I type this, one of our fired up church members just phone texted me. Not a phone call, it must have been a text. Just phone texted me and said he just led the rental car attendant at the Dallas airport to the Lord. The lady had thought she was being good enough for salvation, but then believed the message he shared of Jesus being the only way and received, she received him. Praise the Lord. And now another text from him, the same guy. The bus driver to the rental, rental car just got saved. <laughs> and now another, the rental car checkout attendant just accepted Christ. <laughs> Three in a row for this new young soul winner. Now that's living life. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you remember who that was, Mark? <laughs> 
You made it into my book, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. 